him, huh? Are you here to see Tracy? Come on in. I'm going to call her Tracy. Emma's here to come see you. Tessie should be down any minute. She's doing something in her room. Ma, offer you something, may I offer you something to drink? Okay, I'm gonna get some anyway, because maybe I want something to drink, because it's okay to have my own needs. Because this is what, this is, this is whiskey. It's very good for sipping by the fire, something I learned. Could do it with sake too, but that's rice. That's not whiskey. You're very good at that. You have to sip it. I do. You have to be very careful. You can't drink very much or you won't remember what happened. That's happened to me before. You better be careful. That's a lot of whiskey. I wouldn't drink that one fast like you did the first one if I were you. Yeah, I'm a very successful actress. And I'm having very, a very wonderful time. And I owe everything to my friend Emma Caulfield. Even though we don't talk anymore. Maybe if I was working with Tarantino, then she couldn't keep away. So I've had a huge hand in, um, in her being where she is now. She got me my agent. My agent called Joe Rice, and he's still my agent. And I get jobs all you the time. Married? They used to be married. That's amazing. <laughs> and he still calls me Trudy sometimes. I think he forgets. But I also think sometimes it's like a pet name. He, he that, has names like that for people. He likes, so he must really like you. He's got special names for you. <laughs> we do have a very good friend in common. Well, she's my very good friend. And my roommate. Emma Caulfield, Tracy Toms. Hi. What a great Hi. day for me. Normally I just got to look at ugly writers all day. But oh. here I get to look at this. Oh, thank you. Good day. Perfect. That's all I got in this business. <laughs> um, I actually met you before, like a long time ago. Oh, at really? The, uh, yeah, the, the premiere of uh, Rent. I'm a big right, fan, right. yeah. But that, I was that, trying that, to get that you and Adina to kiss. <laughs> it was late. Oh, Forgive yeah, me one oh, time. Okay. Remember that. What do you guys got? Yeah. Let's talk. Yeah, no, you, you, you well, can start. Okay, um, so Glee is like awesome. Glee is like a, you know, a big yes. super mega hit. Phenomenal, yeah. Um, but they don't really have a whole lot of people of color on Glee. No, they got one. Yeah, they, they got Amber Riley. Amber. They throw her a bone every once in a while. I Come know, on. and she's... And she steals she's amazing. She steals it every time. It's like, oh, why don't you let that girl sing? Why don't I, li why don't I listen to the Asian girl? In real life, what happens with black performers often is that we we act, we sing, we dance, we kind of do everything because there are lots of musicals with black people, but not a lot of movies or not a lot of straight. It's plays. actually kind of daunting because I mean, I got you know, I mean, they're triple threats. I mean, I like one threat. <laughs> I got like yeah. one trick. But I'm not. Yeah. I'm not saying that all black people yeah, can sing a dance. Threat. I'm not saying that. No, no, but it's that, true. But it's true. I mean, yeah. that you know. But I, I mean, don't if, know you, if, if but if you can sing and dance. True. Well, not everybody, not everybody. Yeah, not but yeah, everybody. But yeah, just, there's no outlet for us to do it. So I thought that if there was a glee to capitalize on this phenomenon, so it's kind of like a glee, but a glee for us. <laughs> oh, I love that. Right? You know, I love that. Yeah, so right? it's... Chocolate awesome. glee. Like, I'm just salivating at the idea of doing this. I just think it's like, it's a gold mine. I mean, imagine like if you took glee meets good times. Or the Jeffersons before you know they moved on up, or Roots, Sand Slavery, or um, Do the Right Thing, Do the Right Thing. Yeah. Like shit's about to happen and go singing crazy, and dancing, but they're singing and dancing. Exactly. Fame. Wow. You know, but less of a white. Kids less of a white. No, no Jewish kids. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No Jewish kids. Irene Garrett, she got them out. Or Precious. You know, something like that. Precious. Yeah. Precious could sing. That's a show right, right? there. Right. The truth is, it's like not all black people are from yeah. the ghetto. Mm -hmm. Some of us are. 
but some of us aren't. Right, so right, there's right. also an opportunity. In fact, most aren't. That's 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 the thing that really? nobody talks about. Right. I didn't know that. No, there's that's, just, see, there's yeah, a very large middle class that we have now. Huge middle class. Wow. Yeah. 2000. I love that because I don't know if you know what we're trying to do here. What we're looking for, you, know, you probably don't watch because you know you're adults. <laughs> but we're trying to be like HBO, oh, yeah, HBO for kids. You know, like grittier, more real, great storytelling. So great. I mean, a lot of our shows, like we have one show, uh, like a, a kid, like in the first episode, one of the lead characters, a kid dies. And, oh, that, wow. and people oh. were like, oh, you can't do you that. Never but we did it. Yeah, wow. you never kill a kid, but we did. That's and the kids are responding to it like crazy. You know, 12 year olds getting abortions, whatever. I imagine that's not going to be in this show, wow, but like, 12. that's something else we're working on. But uh, yeah, right. There's like three things I've been looking for. Like, and I, people come in and give me scripts all the time. One of them is singing, uh, mm -hmm. one of them is dancing, and, this, uh, and then another one is, is, is minorities. And this is all three. It's I mean, like a hat that's trick. That's perfect. I mean, well, that's exactly that's what it is. I also want to show about crazy bands, you know, those little like plastic. Um, a bracelet the kids sh wear. A show about. Or just something to show to fit that in there so you can get crazy bands in. That's, that would be amazing. I mean, but know, like, yeah. uh, we're just looking for stuff that's that sells. But, those, but yeah. this, this idea is, right. is perfect for what we're doing. So guess what? I know, uh, I'm just thinking, thinking teens, you know, because of the show yeah. and stuff, there's this great girl, uh, uh, Bramley. Oh. That you guys, uh, you, you, might, you might have, you might have heard of her. Yeah. Uh, wow. She's not. She's a white girl. Uh, she's oh. white, but she's just okay. she's great. But I think she'd be perfect for this. She's uh, she's really hot right now, and she's she hasn't done anything yet. But she's good. she's really hot, and people are talking about her. But uh, I'd love to get her involved. I think this would be a perfect thing for her. And, well, and what what is she? So she's hot. She's hot. Oh, she's uh, yeah. She's um she got in a fight with Miley Cyrus. At oh. club. Do you hear about that? The girl. I uh, did she, that. Uh, that's her. Yeah, yeah. And she's she's got like okay. two hundred thousand people on Twitter following her and stuff. And I met her. Wow, she's great, so and she's it. definitely got a spark to her. And she, I mean, she's not, she's not black, so it's not ideal, but she could definitely be the one white kid and the class is super tough and maybe they give her shit and stuff. Like, you know, there's the one black kid on Glee, she'd be the one white kid and people would be like, oh, why is the, why is the, the white girl's life is worse than mine? Who knew? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll set up a meeting, it'll be great. I love it. I love it. Let's do it. Really? Yes. I'm in. Oh, so great. We have a coffee with Tracy Toms, we got Bramley, we got Urban Glee, singing and dancing. That's uh, so great. So, I gave her a development deal. Development deal. You want a development deal? Uh, you got a development yeah, deal. Yeah. What, what? Everyone what? gets a development deal. It's like Oprah. Yeah, I exactly. I feel like I just got a car. Yeah. <laughs> he did. A little concerned? Uh, I'm a little concerned that Tracy seems a little concerned. I hope that he has the same vision for the show as we think we made really clear to him. But I think we both just want the thing to get made. And uh, he's in a position to get it made. And he wants to get it made. And I just, I feel really, really positive about everything.